Hey guys, so after using my new <laughs> Toro recycler that I just fixed, uh, after using it for mowing my lawn for a couple of weeks, uh, the minute I put this away, I got a text message from some nut who wants to buy it. So I'm just gonna throw it into the van and meet the guy at the church and we'll see if we get this thing sold. I have it listed for 175. Uh, let's hope I get at least 150, right? Uh, this is a bonus if I sell it because I didn't think I was going to sell a mower for the remainder of the season given it's fall. But I guess because it has a bagger, you want to suck up all the leaves that are falling every day. So we'll see if we get this baby sold. Not much gas in it, just to be sure. Bring some gasage. Hopefully we'll say goodbye bye to this one. guy um he asked me what the lowest i would go <laughs> i said the lowest i would go <laughs> i said well i got a guy coming later for 150 he's like oh it almost sounds like he wanted to talk me down to like 100 or something you know what i mean but then he says his is in the shop so he just needs one to hold him over for the remainder of the fall. He's got like a big machine or something and it's gonna take months for them to fix it. So he just needs something to tide him over for the remaining months until the snow comes. So uh, I says, Ooh, maybe he's not gonna buy it because he's not gonna justify spending 150 on a temporary mower, you know? So then I thought real quick and I went, you know, this thing will go for 175 next spring. You could just use it right now and flip it for 175 next year. He's like, yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'll take it. But he gave me 150. 150 is good, right? <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Selling it for 150 in less than two minutes. Fantastic. And I used it a lot. Hey guys, continuing the theme of this episode. Doing some fall cleanup, uh, second or third last mow of the year, using all different kinds of equipment that I have to uh, clean up my mom's house today. I even brought a couple of uh, mini chainsaws to do some trimming. Put you on time lapse and just enjoy the show because you're definitely having more fun than me. I've been wanting to cut a lot of, the, trim these uh, bushes here that are completely out of control. Every time I try to mow along the side here, stuff slaps me in my face. Once and for all, I'm gonna cut some of these branches so that it doesn't slap me in the face. And it'll probably look better too. Trying out my two mini chainsaw reviews. This one I just got recently. Um, it's very light and I just charged up the batteries. So we'll see if we can just trim the perimeter of these bushes that haven't been trimmed for over five years.
So it took a little bit of doing, but uh, trimmed all the trees. They've never been trimmed before. So, I mean, I, you guys probably can't tell. It all looks terrible to you guys, but um, for a lawn that really isn't maintained, except for just me, you know, once in a while, uh, trimming the side bushes was a, was a plus because every time I'm mowing the lawn, I gotta avoid those branches and they all hit me in the face when I drive by it. So uh, I feel much better now. In addition, and I'm not just saying it, th this is really cool. I don't usually uh, rave about any of my review products that I get. Uh, some of you guys watch the review products because you're interested, you know, and uh, sometimes you get something really good. This is super lightweight, really light, like maybe two pounds. And uh, just charged up the battery. It's a 21 volt with uh, 2000 milliamps per hour. And uh, on one charge, I just used this throughout the entire yard, cut down three garbage canfuls of uh, pine tree branches. I didn't even use this bigger one. But this bigger one I can cut bigger trees with, even though I feel that this could have done it. This cut uh, wood branches up to like three to four inches thick, which is really impressive, you know? And uh, like I said, very lightweight. Sometimes you use these things uh, for a while, you feel the fatigue in your arm and your wrist. This, it was just like a super light hand tool. Works really well, even with the protector too. I didn't need the protector because, eh, you know, it feels like an extension of your hand. So these two products, really nice. Uh, these hand saws, uh, I'm not really a believer in electric products, but these little mini electric hand saws, you can pick it up and go. You know, no priming, mixing oil and gas for your gas one that you barely use unless you're in the field, you know? So really cool. Anyway, uh, gonna go blow out the front now. No sooner did I just say these things are great, the whole bar and chain fell off. I don't think it would take much to put this back, except I lost a nut. So I put it back together again. It works, but I can't find the nut, the yellow screw on nut there. And if you look all through there, I don't know if it fell in the garbage can, <laughs> in those bushes. I have no idea. It's like a needle in a haystack. So I searched and searched for the nut, I couldn't find it. Found this nut, except it wasn't exactly the right threads. The thread count on the bolt in here was a lot more thinner, you know, too many more, more threads than this one. So I could only screw it on like three turns or two turns. But then when I screwed it on, I wouldn't go anymore and I didn't, I didn't want to push it. So I tried to take it back off again, except now it moves a lot, moves the stud along with it. So you got to kind of grip the nut, uh, the stud somehow. So not stuck on here and it's loose. How do I get myself into these fixes? You know what I mean? Anyway, let me show you another hack. Here's my Vander Mullen backpack blower. It's fantastic. I love it. However, over the years, this part right here starts starts to get a little worn. It has ridges here, right? The ridges on there to allow you to clip it there, but then it slides down by itself. So as a, so there's no like teeth to grip it, to hold it in one throttle. It'll just slip down to middle throttle and then all the way down because these teeth are just worn. So I said, oh, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna I'm gonna get in there. I tried to get a file, but the file wouldn't fit. So then I noticed, and I got this old Nissan of Bayside uh, license plate frame. And I noticed how the plastic here on the top with the letters are, there's ridged, right? And so I figured, let me break off this piece here. Right? And uh, <laughs> put the ridges right there so that now when it goes over here, it catches onto one of the letters and holds there. But I don't really have any tools here at my mom's house, so I was going to put a self-tapper in there, and I don't have 
my drill or my impact. I don't have any self-tapper screws here. So I was just gonna get some duct tape, but we don't have duct tape here either. But I'll just tape it for the time being, see how it works. There we go. Holds it there and middle too. Nice hack. There's something I gotta talk about for a second. I wanna talk to you guys real quick about something just recently happened around my neighborhood. Uh, there's this kid, Corey Phelan. He uh, played little league and travel baseball and middle school and high school baseball. He was on my son's baseball team throughout most of his life. And my son knew him, not really well, but you know, many, many years on the same team, but they weren't close. Nevertheless, Corey played baseball really well, and he signed a minor league contract with the Philadelphia Phillies uh, organization. He never made it to the major leagues, but he was in triple-A ball, uh, I believe. Anyway, he skipped school, didn't go to college, and he went with the Phillies. And then about uh, six or seven months ago, he was taking a shower, and uh, he passed out. So he went to the hospital, and they took a CAT scan of his chest, and they found an eight-inch mass in his chest. He was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. So then he went over to Sloan Kettering, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in the city here in New York City. And uh, he lost his battle with cancer uh, a couple of days ago. And today is his funeral. Uh, he was the same age as my son, 20. Never married, never went to college. And his life was cut short, just so unexpectedly. So uh, the point I'm trying to make is that uh, guys try to live your life as as happy as you can, do all the things that you always want to do because you never know when your life is going to be cut short unexpectedly. Uh, that could happen to any of us. So I just thought I'd you know throw that in there because uh, you know it's a real life thing. All right, uh, now that I fixed the hack, we're gonna do some blowing. <laughs> So I'm home. I was just gonna leave it, but it's driving me crazy. So I can't get this off. I even tried to loosen the chain to go around here so I can take the blade out so I have more space to take like a wire uh, side cutters and put them onto the stud, hold it while I turn the screw. I can't get the chain off even though it's so loose. I loosened it. So now I'm thinking the hack of the day, another hack of the day, I'm gonna take a grinder and cut a slit right along the um, stud so I can use a flathead screwdriver to hold the inner stud while turning the outer to move it. I'm going to try it because right now without that nut and with this nut solidly on there I'm not going to be able to do anything. So we'll see. I think I might have just screwed it. Nope, that's not going to work. That's not gonna work. I might have to try to break that bolt or something.
Yeah! Success, success, I tell you, success! Got a new nut on there. Solid. Awesome. So to finish off the uh, video, after mowing my lawn several times with different pieces of equipment, I'm gonna whip out the 616Z and do my front yard. I'm pretty sure all the seeds are secure now or grounded, so I won't be able to, I won't suck them all up for nothing, but it uh, needs a little bit of a mow. We'll do it on the highest setting. That worked great, took three minutes. <laughs> Love this machine. If you guys have never tried a zero turn, you gotta try a zero turn. So that's it for this episode, guys. It took about uh, three weeks to make this episode because of days and days of lawn care. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's uh, sometimes satisfying and therapeutic to watch lawn work. It's therapeutic to do it too. We'll see you guys next time on Motors and Blowers.